Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. So welcome back to Climb to Master. We return 26 LP uh, in Diamond 3. Unfortunately, after the Ezreal game, we did end up losing another game. And the reason why that one's not going on YouTube is that one we did have the classic uh, AFKing slash Inter. Uh, we had a Gragas jungle that went full AP. It didn't really work. Then he went toxic, then started to like int, and then he went AFK. So it's just not really worth uh, uploading that type of thing. It's not very entertaining. I played mediocre on Kled. We did some good things. We did some bad things. So, yeah. All right. So my lane opponent, by the way, is most likely Summoner 5 on the enemy team because that's the person that they banned Victor. Again, I don't rate the Victor top lane very highly, but it's a cheese pick and it's really annoying to deal with. So that's probably why people just can't be bothered. It's why like I banned Scion, like the stupid inting Scion strategy. I don't rate it very highly, so I just got rid of it. So but it's annoying, you know. Um... So they're getting the duo. Another name of uh, the Zento D has an E at the end of Zento. Uh, thanks so much, dude. Unless the E is silent, potentially. Uh, what am I going to play then? We're back in top lane. We don't know what we're against. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, let's play Urgot. Again, Urgot episodes are weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's play Yorick. I'm in the mood for Yorick. Um, Urgot episodes have always been weird, I will say. I know I'm not playing him, but, like, people don't seem to like that champion. Like, the views on that, them videos are really low, usually. Again, my views have been lowish at the moment anyway, but some champions are lower than others. All right, I might go Conqueror. We'll see. I might be changing, depending what we're against. Oh, this is a hard decision. I can definitely kill him if I go Conqueror, but it's really risky. Like, really risky. Eh, I don't want to risk it. Again, I still can beat him in the 1v1 even if I go... Um, even if I go Grass, I still can kill him. That's how strong Yorick is. But, yeah, let's just go a bit safer, I think. All right. Uh, team comp wise, I like both team comps. Arguably, I like R1 a little bit better because Shaco is hit or miss. He'll either get fed or feed. But I guess kind of leasing is the same. Um, so yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Yorick in the top lane. All right, welcome to the loading screen. So as you can see, it's like a Diamond 3 game with a few exceptions here or there, like a Diamond 2. All my team are Diamond 3 apart from the Diamond 2 Fizz. On the enemy team, they actually have a two Diamond 4s, but then everybody else is Diamond 3. No Rakan games, negative win rate on Zaya, pretty good Shaco, pretty good Victor. So both of these, uh, not Victor, um, Kazadin. So these two could be Smurfs, maybe. Like good win rate, oh no wait, bad win rate. Oh, I misread it, sorry. 22% win rate, bad, with a bad KD. Whoops, my bad. Uh, Darius seems to be okay as well, but he dies more than he gets kills. Um, yeah, let's get into it. We've got an 80% win rate on Yorick, so hopefully we can maintain a high win rate. Okay. So we have gone Grasp. Uh, didn't she kind of stream snipe? Uh, yeah, this person was the Kindred uh, from earlier. They might have been ghosting, um, but they're on my team now, so... Oh, so do you want... Where are you going? Do you need a pull? Kind of hoping that they don't need a pull. Because some leasons do and some people don't. Great. Because Shaco won't need a pull, so Darius is going to have lane advantage, which kind of sucks. Which we don't really want Darius to have lane advantage, but... Nothing we really can do. Ba 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 Bum, 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 bum. But like some people are like, isn't that going to be like a buff to like the champions like Shaco that can kind of like put boxes up? It's a yes and a no buff. Yes, because they don't need a pull technically. Like, cool. 
what did that achieve? So all the advantage that he could have got by me not being there straight away, he just gave up. Well done. Um, but yeah, all the potential... Um, I can't, I can't remember what I was going to say. It was something important. Oh, yeah. The earliest spawn timer is not really a buff for stuff like Shaco because they can't, they don't have more time to put more boxes down either. So it's kind of like a weird situation. It's not a buff. It's not a nerf. It's just kind of different. So. Honestly, I think Warwick is going to benefit a lot because <laughs> he doesn't need a leash and he doesn't have like, he doesn't need other things to tank it for him. Warwick's got buffed. I was going to let this push in again. He's ahead on farm, but we can catch up when all this gets crashed into the wave. Yeah. I have a funny feeling this is kind of like an annoying Darius player. Like, waiting in a bush at level 1 and all that stuff. Which is fine. Doesn't really bother me because we outscale. <laughs> Not if I do that. Wrecked. Nice. Again, we did, I think, potentially see that that guy might have been a smurf, that fizz. Every Darius player is annoying. Nah, there's different types. There's definitely different types of Darius. Really messy with my farm today. What the hell? Am I like half asleep? What's going on? What the hell's going on? Ugh. It's all the cloud. He's going to stay, Shaco's going to come back. Or he's going to go back right now. You know, most people in League play the game very obvious. got a double kill. Nearly got a double kill. So close. Go on, fizzy boy. Ooh, that Lee Sin Q was, uh... Eh, worth. Bit messy, but I'll take it. 
Again, so close to getting a double kill there. Ugh! If I him a little bit more... I don't know what's happened, but I'm, like, half asleep. It's, like, half my farm's atrocious, and I'm making, like, stupid mistakes. <sighs> Another name off the uh, list. Need sweet. Thanks so much. Come fishing with you and Jeebus. Fishing? What? Should I go top again? Or is this guy just positionally... Like, again, that annoying Darius. It's hard to, like, put on a... Like, a reason why it's annoying. It's just annoying. If that makes sense. It's... it's I don't know. It probably doesn't make sense. Uh, what? Pretty sure we probably could have killed him there, but he went... For a really weird queue. That hit. Really? Uh, what? Interesting move by the Lee. Uh oh. Leeson just said, well played. You're wow, nice. He's in one of these bushes. I think he's just gone. Huh. I wonder why. I doubt he's got like a big item. Maybe Kingle Gem, but... Hmm. Yeah, he just went back for Kingle. Odd. Uh, what build do I want to go? There's Another obviously... Name off the list. There's a couple open to me. Wow. If they live... Again, Lee Sin seems to always be in the wrong place a little bit, but... If he does live, that's really good. I killed Zyra again. Bot lane is winning like by quite a bit by the seams of it. Oh, that damage. That damage is insane. Again, we do outscale him, so it's just a matter of patience. I played the early game really badly, obviously, but we still beat him. Leeson didn't go on him. Weird. He cancelled his ult by flashing. <laughs> he cancelled his own ult on that. Oh, dude. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
The guy literally was gonna like, I don't think it was gonna kill me, but he cancelled it. I think we're okay. Did I not take Demolish? Oh, I died. I swear I took Demolish. Don't stack, don't stack. Ooh, really good. Really good! Very good Fizz play. Very good Fizz play. Ugh. Won't Urgot be weak, weak, wait, what? Will, won't Urgot be weakling in season nine? I don't know. All right, that was good. I'm gonna go Ninja Tabby, because these two are annoying. Yeah, that Fizz is really good. Again, his farm is really bad like mine, but his mechanics are clean. Unlike mine. <laughs> I don't know. This is probably this is definitely my last game for today. I played a lot of League today. So maybe I've just hit the uh I've just hit the wall that I'm like, don't play anymore. I doubt he's gone back. Why would Darius have gone back? Oh no, he's there. What the hell? Again, ideally we want Darius to use his W on those wall things and not on me. That's a big attack that he's not using aggressively. It's good. Oh, Leeson didn't go. I think Fizz was expecting Leeson to go for the kill. But then um, Leeson stopped for farm or something. Yeah, I'm very confused about this Darius' playstyle. Like, he goes missing. Is he going mid? No, he's here. Again, I'd fight him right now if I had ultimate. Don't have ultimate. You can fight him very soon, though. We should be able to kill him. See how I'm blocking him? Eh. It's fine. Again, we, we, we're winning this lane now. Like, the lane's actually turning into my favor. Even though he's 2-3, I'm 0-2. He's got more farm. You'll slowly see me start just to win. Because um, this is how these champions work, right? This is the thing of League. Champions outscale other champs. So even though we've technically lost lane phase, my tower is two-thirds. His tower is dead. So, yeah, that's good. And we kill him. There you go. Don't... Re that, that was just a flat-out mistake that he just made. Um, don't really know what that was about, but yeah. Did I not take Demol- Oh, I went in- Wait. No, I should have taken Demolish. What did I not take? I took... Bone Plating. Oh. Uh, that's a mistake by me. Alright, half health for tier 2. Kill him. There you go. There you go. Have I done an episode on Ivan? I really dislike Ivan, so I- Probably don't have any videos on him. Yeah, he's not my champ, not my type of champion. Sorry, dude. But welcome to League if you're new. Another name off the list. Salty Sea Hoon. I don't know what that is, but welcome. Yeah, we're starting to get there now. But again, we're, we only can kill him really in the 1v1 when we have ultimate up. That's the big strength of Yorick in the 1v1. So we just kind of have to uh, wait two minutes each time. Which isn't too bad, to be honest. Like, his opening is now. If he wants to kill me, he has to, like, kill me now. And if he's good at Darius, he'll know it. So him backing off here weird. He should be playing aggro. 
Uh, he might be waiting in a bush to try and cheese it. Maybe. But this Darius is... Uh, he was. Okay. Again, predictable, I guess. He's still building full damage, which I think is a mistake. He's already died now once to Yorick. The lane is slowly turning. He's behind in XP. He's now building full damage still. Questionable. This is where I probably would have gone like a dead man or something to try and not die to Yorick anymore. He's going to go roam. I think my team will be okay. Because by the time Darius even gets there, the whole enemy team's dead. So yeah, Darius is there. So I don't have to be that... Yeah, they're all dead. I don't have to be that concerned about Darius's roaming. He'll be too late. Plus, he's kind of roamed to the wrong place. Wait, Lucian's health. Did he just walk into the tower and nearly die? Huzzy cannon. Can I get some huzzy cannons in the chat, please? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Darius. So, again, don't know why he just is letting me free farm. He, his opportunity to kill me was just now not having ultimate. And instead of trying to kill me, he runs mid lane. Another name off the list. No idea. Um, Death Eater 8. Was Death Eater 1, and, 1 to 7 taken? I presume so. Someone follows the... The Voldemort-y. He who will be named. Ugh. Another name off the list. Oh, so many subs. Uh, Braz Kowitz. Thanks very much, man. People really want the Santa Claus cosplay, apparently. So again, the shakeout is either hit or miss, right? You're either going to get fed or not really do much. This is the example where he doesn't really do much. Like this guy, again, Shaco is only really a one-trick champion. You only really should be playing him if you're a one-trick or a main at least. Because um, there's so many intricacies to the champion that you have to really know what you're doing and you've got to be consistent. Otherwise, it's going to be really bad. This is why this guy has got a 22% win rate in nine games. Just shouldn't be playing the champ. Don't think they need me. Let me keep pushing. So what I'd say is that Darius, is, he's farmed well. His early game wasn't bad at all, but he's misplayed the lane. If he wanted to beat me in mid-late game, he had to, like, keep denying me. And for some reason, he's been really passive now. Especially when I have ultimate down is when he needs to go on me the most. And he just hasn't really been playing it well. Ooh, he had it to follow. My bad. I misplayed that. I should have ulted a lot quicker. If I ulted quicker and I had my ultimate in the whole fight, I would have killed him. So I ulted way too late. I just didn't know whether to fully commit for the fight. You'll, you would have seen me being, like, hesitant because I knew Shaker was around. So I just made a mistake. It's that simple. But for my mistake, him being top lane, Shaker being top lane, my team getting in hip. So it's not that bad. We could we could say I distracted the enemy team and you know I made a mistake. I definitely could have killed Darius if I ulted quicker. But I was just way too hesitant about the fight in general. Hesitancy kills you in League of Legends. You've gotta be really direct and be like, I'm doing this. Oh, I actually got the Shaco. How am I? Well, I'm really quick. The, but real one's him. Shaco? Is he, like, trolling? Oh, Cassidy went greedy. Is it worth it? That's the question. If they kill enough of us that we can't get that tower, it is arguably worth it for the enemy team to kill us. Because it's slowing us down. That was a really good... And boom, not worth it. So they shouldn't be able to stop us getting this tower because now Darius has to stop this. So technically, it was worth for them after a while. Then Lee Sin gets a pick and boom, now not worth. So how like little tiny little plays like that can just blow up into the enemy team's face. They started it well, ended it bad. So not bad. Pretty well played by my team, actually. 
So again, we like normally I do well KDA wise on Yorick. This is not one of those games. No, please, no, please, please, my fan, please. Oh no, please no. Um, I'm not having a good KDA game. Um, but we are doing work that's in the background. It's one of those games that you know it looks bad when someone looks at your match history, but you'll remember back yourself and kind of go, eh, it wasn't that bad. Like definitely there's things you can improve, obviously, but eh, not bad. It's kind of one of those, like, eh, eh, type of games. Where's our team? Get them, boys! Look at that little bursty damage instantly. That's the real one. Can't believe I didn't take Demolish. I'm an idiot. Again, we've, we've still done quite well with towers, considering. Again, we, we got his tower before he got mine. So, you know, that was good, but... Mm. Just could have gone a lot better. Oh, yeah, my 80% win rate is going to be higher now. You know, arguably undeserved. My performance this game was pretty bad. That guy just got blown up. Oh. God, they're just getting exploded. There we go. Bit of a messy game. Negative KD, but technically positive KDA. Adjust. Um, so, I don't know. I'll take it. It was a messy game. Maybe that's what even the title will be. A messy Yorick game. A messy Yorick game. Will my 80% win rate go up? Again, if I want my views to start climbing on YouTube, I'm probably going to do like more intensive uh, or enticive titles that aren't clickbait. I'll never do clickbait. They'll always be true, but they might be a, a little bit of a you know, a bit of marketing going on. Uh, I'll give it to the Lee. He played pretty well. All right. So uh, also the Fizz played well too. Plus 18. Uh, we have been gaining 20 recently, but then we lost two games in a row. Plus 18 is still good. Maybe because we win this game. If we win the next game, maybe we'll get me back up to uh, plus 20. Uh, but we go 1 for 8. So again, negative KD, but positive KDA if we're taking in the 8 assists, which is quite a lot. Uh, and then damage done. We do actually very good damage. So damage-wise, we do better damage than the Darius. We nearly do better damage than the Kassadin. And, you know, we're not that far away, really. So that's not that bad, um, considering the game that we had. So... Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, please smash that like button. It does help out. Comment as well if you've got anything to say. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See you.